All right, quickly, let's do something um, brief and, you know, enlighten ourselves. Um, I'll be talking on what I've titled Angels in Form of Man. Angels in Form of Man. And, well, that might sound somehow to some of you. But let me start by saying that most people have restricted the person of angels to invisible beings you know and um, for those who believe they are visible ones in, once in a blue moon they they, they, they they tend to believe angels are giants which is quite true anyway um, for instance Revelation 21 verse 17 says and he measured the wall thereof and hundred and forty and four cubits according to the measure of a man that is of the angel a hundred and forty four cubits and that's to say that if an angel were to um, you know were to come around now he's gonna be very very tall and some people have this this kind of image in mind you know you you, you believe they maybe angels are just something like like this maybe they're just something like this I, I don't know if you relate you can relate with one you know maybe they are just they are just there do they do they appear in form of men do they um, do they walk like men do they do things regularly I mean what comes to mind when you talk about angels well we'll be looking at that in a moment and of course we'll be doing justice to what it is angels in the form of man from the above scripture that i just gave you now the, the we we have the average height of an angel to be 144 cubit that is about 8064 centimeters or 80.64 meters the average height of an angel is 144 cubit with me which is 8064 you know centimeters or 80.64 meters that you will agree with me is a height indeed that one you will agree with me is a height indeed in another instance, a sister gave a testimony of how the 747 Boeing um, in which she was traveling at a time developed fault while Boeing. And of course, Pandemonium exactly described the situation on the plane the moment it was announced that there was a fault and crash landing was the only way out. She took a glance at the window and she saw an angel smiling at her as he held the plane in the palm of his hand this of course gave her peace now when you have the company of an angel you begin to I, I, I want to change your mentality I want to change your mentality you know so that you know the forces that are working with you when you become a child of God it's like it's like becoming the governor when you become the governor your entourage you have an entourage security details you know and all of that even as the son of the governor you have your own security details as the wife you know so you cannot imagine us being the bride of jesus the the, the children of god can you imagine the entourage that we have and so if you go back to what i just described from the testimony of that lady um, a Boeing 747 is one of the largest aircrafts that is and so you, you, you imagine that being held in the palm of somebody those palms or that palm must be very big in this very short epistle that I, will, that I want to share with you I have put this down quite some time so that's why it sounds as if you know but then uh, it came to mind this morning and I thought let me share with you I am communicating is that your angels most times take up the form of man your angels most of the time take up the form of man and this we can ascertain by the characteristics of angels and possibly their positions who are my angels who are my angels God transforms our angels into leaders 
God transforms our angels into leaders. In other words, they appear in form of leaders in our marketplace of life. They appear in form of leaders. They lead us. At I'm not necessarily saying the, the president, the governor. The, I'm saying the, the next person just ahead of you. The person there who is just there to help you. Somebody who is just there to, 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 to get you out of you know, that mess that you found yourself. That person ahead of you in your office. That person ahead of you in your church. That person ahead of you that is your head in marriage, in your career, etc. Is your angel, your boss, your, your guide, your mentor. You call them by different names. You call them your director. You call them managers. You call them shepherds. You call them mentors, like I said. You, you call them role models, etc. To drive down this point. Exodus 23, verse 22 says, Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. To keep you in the way and to bring you. Now, when you go read, go and check properly. The angel in this particular verse is different from every other angel. If you check the original manuscripts, the King James Version has this A, the capital letter A, which makes him different. And it gives me, with, with my instincts, I am able to perceive that this angel is the presence of God in the person of the Holy Spirit. Now, this point encapsulates others because it gives us, in summary, who an angel is in relation to man. Who is an angel in relation to man? From this, we are able to deduce that one, angels are ahead of us. In other words, they are leaders. Angels are always ahead of you. They are bigger than you. They are richer than you. They are ahead of you. They were, they, 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 I mean, they are always ahead of you. That is people who have either been or on the way to your destination. Angels are keepers. Angels are what? They are keepers. Number two, that's number two. Angels are keepers. Talking about who your angels are. They are keepers. You shouldn't find it hard agreeing with me that policemen and women are angels too. They are angels. Your parents are your guiding angels. Your pastor is your angel. I mean, your husband, your angel. Your wife, your angel. Your dad, your angel. Your boss, your angel. Your teacher, your angel. Your lecturer, your guide, your angels. And so by the time you do your arithmetics of who your angels really are, you will agree with scriptures that you have an innumerable number of them around you per time. You have a lot of them. And so you have your husband, you have your pastor, you have your dad, you have your mom, you have, you have everyone. You have a lot of them. Angels know where you both ought to be and where you are going. The text that we read, it says, he's, he's already sent ahead of you to prepare the way and to also bring you to where it has, where it has been prepared for you. He must, it is his own responsibility that you must reach your goal in life. It is the irresponsibility of your angel. Your own responsibility is to submit in his, into his hands. That's your responsibility. That's your responsibility. They know where you are going. The problem they have is that you are struggling with them. They know you are not surrendering into their hands. You don't commit your ways into their hands when you're leaving the house in the morning. Even you know, sometimes you feel that I must go out today, I must go out. Sometimes he says you are not going anywhere. <laughs> you don't you are not going out today. And somehow he has you know sa saved you from an accident, he has saved you from uh, so from something. Sometimes togs, and I mean togs, togs could even be your angel. Put in a place to stop or prevent you from an impending accident. You remember Balaam, Balaam's ass, the donkey, in Numbers 22, verse 27 to 28, how it suddenly stopped as Balaam traveled with it so as to prevent Balaam from being killed. 
In verse 33, the death confirmed that. I mean, it, it confirmed that Balaam would have died, would have been a dead man. I mean, sorry, the angel confirmed that donkey through spoke. Can't you see what I'm seeing? And so, maybe when you were going to bed last night, when you parked your car last night, it was working fine. And so, you are, you are ready to travel very early this morning and you just get a, a tires are down, are down. And so he said, bring out the extra tire and you get to the extra tire. An extra tire that you did not use suddenly is down. It's a message. He's trying to delay you. Something is keeping you away from something. He said you would have been a dead man. Save that this has turned away. In the same vein, your car could turn away from death by developing a fault, like I just said. By this and many more, you can get to your angel, um, to know your angel when they put on animates and, or inanimate form. But there is something more. Sensitivity is key. Sensitivity is very key. Balaam was not sensitive at all. He was so insensitive that he began to beat this, uh, this donkey. You need to be very sensitive to catch this signal. You need to be very sensitive. Elisha said, they that be with us are more than they that be with them. He said, I can't see anything. So I said, Lord, open his eyes. And by the time he opened his eyes, the Bible says that he saw that all the mountains were filled with chariots of fire. And so that, that boss of yours that you don't like because of the way he either talks to you or despitefully use you as, I mean, he's your angel and he is only doing his work. He won't be your boss for life. He's only doing his work. He's only doing his part. I believe this message is for so many of you. And maybe it's not you. You might just be the one to pass it on to somebody. Your, pastors, your pastor seems so strict. So you have decided to walk your transfer. Don't run away from your angel. Don't run away from home. Your parents or guidance are your angels. Your husband. Don't run away from home. Try and get the message. Remember what David said in Psalm 23 verse 4b? He said, I rod and I starve, they comfort me. All the torture as it were that you are getting now is for your future's comfort. It's for the comfort of your future. So don't despise it. It is the combination of the rod and the staff that brings about comfort. Job said, you can't take the good and not take the bad too. It's coming from the same person. To guide you to your angel, I have served as your angel. <laughs> you go and serve as someone else's angel by sharing this peace with him or her. However, watch out for evil angels. How do you know them? Simply by their mission and beliefs. He says, by their fruits we shall know them. And you know what? Their mission, they have just one mission. Just by their mission you will know them that these ones are not good angels. Might just be a friend. Just be somebody who does not remain. And just be somebody who is just guiding you ironically. How do you know them? Their mission. It's always clear. John chapter 10 and verse 10. He said, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. John 10, 10a. Also, their belief system. He said, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they be of God. Every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. I, I come to the end of this angel in the form of man. Have you given your life to Christ? You can't have the ministry of angels around you if you are not God's own. 
I'm not the son of the president. That's why you don't find somebody standing beside me. But because I'm a child of God, there is somebody with me that you cannot see. The camera has, does not have the capacity to catch his face. They are guiding me. So will you be if you give your life to Jesus? You want to do that now? Please bow down your heads and lay your hands on your heart and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Please accept me as your own, as I also accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me all my shortcomings and wash me in your blood. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I pray for those, this your child or your children that you have used this message to touch. I pray, Lord, that you accept them and glorify yourself in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Congratulations, you have come into this innumerable company of God's own who have these angels who are armed to the teeth. They are armed to the teeth. I tell you, they are armed to the teeth. If your eyes is open to see your own angel the way he is, and God does not put him into the form of man. <laughs> you yourself will be scared of your own angel. Well, thank you very much for watching. Like I would always say, share this video with others. My name, Olukunle Abraham. God bless you. Bye-bye.